Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel MI Tutorials. In this video, let's explore the newly added visual called Text Slicer in Power BI. Filtering large data sets had always been an issue in Power BI using native visuals, but no more because we have the new Text Slicer which can filter your large data sets with ease. Let's take a look at an example. I have the data here of vaccination tweets and I would like to filter for a certain keyword. I'm using the slicer visual here and if I search for a keyword Hamilton, these are all the tweets that I have which has the keyword Hamilton. Now if I have to select all of these tweets here, I have to manually select all of them here and then I will be able to see the tweets which has the keyword Hamilton. And now let's take a look at the new slicer. I have a new slicer set up here already on my page to give you a demo. Now if I search for the keyword called Hamilton and then click on enter or press this green button you will see that my table has now been filtered for the keyword Hamilton and these are all the tweets here that I can take a look at. Now I did not have to go and select all of the tweets manually here like I did in the slicer visual. Now this is going to definitely make your life more easier especially when you want to filter text. Now let's take a look at how to enable this slicer and also take a look at different formatting options that are available in this slicer. Since this visual is still in preview, you will have to enable the slicer. All you have to do is head to the file, go to options and settings, click on options and head over to the previews features, scroll down and look for text slicer, enable this and restart your Power BI desktop. You should now be able to see the new visual here called text slicer. Now let's add the text slicer. I'm going to add the text slicer here to our report page. Now let's also add the field with which I want to filter the data. I'm going to search for the text field here and add this particular field in here. And now my text slicer is set up. I can now simply search for Hamilton here and click on enter or click on this arrow here. You will see that my table is now filtered. Now let's head to the format section of this visual and take a look at different options that are available for you to customize. First of all, we have our size and style here. These are the standard options that are available. We have the title here. And then let's head to the next section here, which is input text. So let me just clear this filter here. And now I have a placeholder here. You can either leave it at auto, which means that it's going to say filter by keyword, or you can choose a placeholder of your choice. Let's say, for example, you can say enter keyword. And now that will be displayed here. You can also customize the font, the font size, the color, the transparency, etc. The next section here is the dismiss button. Let's say once we have entered the keyword here and click on enter. And now this is the dismiss button that this is referring to. In case you want to change some of the formatting options of your dismiss button, you can do so right from here. Let's say, for example, you want to change the color of the dismiss button here. You can change this to red if you would like to. And then you can also increase the size of the icon here. Let's say you want about 35 pixels. You can do so from here. You can also increase or decrease the spacing here. Let's head to the next section here, which is applied text padding. And if you increase the text padding here, let's say if I change this to about 15, you will notice that the text padding now is changed here. And likewise, I can also change the text padding here on top, bottom, left, right, etc. And then let's head to the next section here, which is applied background text. This is basically the field that you see here. Once the filter is applied, the background is currently changing to gray. Now let's say that if you want to change the color here of the text background, you can do so from here. If you want this darker shade of gray, you can choose that. Or maybe if you want a different color, you can choose that as well. You can also control the transparency from here in case you want a lighter background, you can do so right from here. The next section here is applied text border. When I enable this, you will see that a gray border has now been added to our visual. And let me change the color here. For example, this blue color, and you will also be able to control the width of that particular border here. You can choose the width. You can also change the transparency here so that it matches your needs and requirements. The next section here is the apply button. Now all the formatting options related to this apply button that you see here, let's say for example, you want to change this to green color, you can do so from here. You can also increase the icon size, let's say about 35 pixels. And now when I don't have any selection here, you see that this arrow is slightly shaded or the transparency of the shadow has been reduced. And now when I, let's say, enter a particular keyword, you will notice that the color has now been changed to darker shade of green and now when I click on apply and again gone back to less transparent icon here and you can see that the dismiss icon has started to appear here which means that the filter is applied on this particular visual and likewise you can also change the transparency of this icon you can control the icon size like I mentioned the padding you can control the padding of that particular icon here let's say for example if you want to change the left padding to about 15 pixels you can do so right from here you can also add background to that particular icon here let's say if you want 
the yellowish background you can do that or you can go to black background you can do that as well you can also add a background to the icon here the apply icon when i enable background here you will see that the background color has been added you can change the color here of your choice and then you can also add a border there and change the color let's say for example you want a blue border again you can also be able to control the transparency width etc the next section here is layout when you change the spacing on the layout let's say 10 pixels you will notice that the, the space between the search bar and the apply button here has now been increased and the next section here is the input text box let's go to the input text box and you have the padding options available here you can control the background when you turn off the background or let's let me change the color of the background here let me select this blue here you will see that the background of the visual has now been changed we can also control the transparency of that particular background you have a different background here and then you have a different background when you enter the text so these are two different things and then you also have a border here if you want to add a border you can do that from here you will notice that the outer border has now been added here and then we also have the focus accent bar the focus accent bar let me basically turn off all the borders that I enabled here. I'm going to turn this off. I have just reset this particular visual here and you will see that the focus accent bar, you have various positions here to choose from. Let's select left and then let's change the color here to this dark blue here. And let's also increase the width to about six pixels. And now when I click on this filter to enter the keyword, you will notice that the accent bar is automatically appearing here. Let me again search for Hamilton and click on OK. And you will see that this is continuing to appear here. Whenever I clear the filter and get out of this visual, you will no longer see the accent bar. Likewise, you can also change the position of the accent bar. You can choose this towards right. If I click on the visual, you will see that this is appearing towards the right. Likewise, you can change this to top as well or if you want, we can move this to bottom as well. So these are the different formatting options that are available in this visual. However, one thing that is missing in this visual is the ability to filter list of items. Now let's say for example, I want to filter this visual here by with the keyword called Hamilton. And if I want to search for another keyword, maybe vaccine, I don't have an option to do that here. So this visual does not accept a list of keywords. Maybe that is something that we would like to see in the next release. Hopefully that will be added soon. So with this, we've come towards the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. You learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.